In this lesson, we're going to look at an application problem that involves a pie chart. And this is one of the first application problems we've really seen up to this point. And of course, what makes them so challenging is that not only do you have to perform the math correctly, but you first have to choose the correct type of mathematical operation to use. So as we read the three questions down here, we will hopefully find some clues within the question that will help guide us down the correct path. So uh, first of all, let's take a look at the pie chart before we do anything else. It says World Relief Charities Revenue Sources for 2009 in millions of dollars. And then they give us um, the amount um, the amount for each type of revenue source um, for this World Relief Charity. So let's take a look at number one first. It says, what is the total amount of revenue for World Relief Charities in 2009? Now we have to decide, what is this, what is this question asking me to do? Well, we've already talked a little bit about some words that indicate certain operations, and right here we see the word total. And we know from previous experience that the word total should indicate addition. So it seems that they want us to add up all of the different revenue sources because it says what is the total, right? What is it all put together? So let's just, uh, for number one, we'll write this up here. And we'll just go ahead and add these up. I'll start with private cash contribution. Then we'll add on government grants. Then we'll add on gifts in kind. And then finally other income. And so we can add these up fairly quickly. 8 plus 7 is 15, plus 1 is 16, plus another one is 17. Carry the 1. 1 plus 9 is 10, plus 6 is 16. And then we're going to add 9 to that. Sometimes uh, instead of adding 9 next, you might look ahead a little bit and notice you have a 9 plus 1, right, which makes 10. So maybe a quick way to do it in your head would be to say 1 plus 9 is 10, plus 6 is 16, plus another 10 is 26. And then 2 plus 3 is 5, plus 2 is 7, plus 2 is 9. So we get 967. Now with application problems there's a very important thing we have to do and that is to label our answer correctly. If you just write the number 967 down and don't state what 967 means, then we really haven't told anybody anything. What does 967 mean? Is it 967 cents? Is it 967 dollars? Now that second uh, option I gave you might be kind of tempting to say, and you might say, oh yeah, it's dollars, and so I'll just put a dollar sign here, and now any reader would know that this is 967 dollars. But let's First of all, check this answer for reasonableness. Is it reasonable that a charity is only taking in $967 for the year? Well, no, that's not reasonable at all. That charity would be um, gone quite quickly if that's all the money it brought in. And so we understand that's not reasonable, so what are we missing? Well, we're missing this right here. It said that the numbers they're giving down in this pie chart are in millions of dollars. So what that means is you essentially are going to add six zeros to any number they have up here. So this is not $11 of income. This is $11 million of income, or other income, that is. This is $398 million of private cash contribution. So we understand that for our answer... Okay, this is not our answer, so let me scratch off my label here. For our answer, what we'll give is, you could give it in two ways. You might give it as 967 followed by six zeros. 
But especially when we start getting to larger numbers like this, what is often done, which is completely fine, is to simply do this, 967 million. Just write the word million right after that. There's no problem with that. And in fact, if you pay attention to when you're watching the news and they start talking about large numbers, oftentimes is what they'll do. Just 967 with the word million after it. So that was problem number one. Problem number two asks how much less revenue was generated from gifts in kind than from private cash contribution. So this word less should hopefully indicate subtraction for us. So how much less revenue was generated from gifts in kind than from private cash contribution. So gifts in kind is the 291. And we want to know how much less of this do we have than this number right here, private cash contribution. So that means we're going to subtract those two. So 398 minus 291. Of course, we'll set this up as a vertical subtraction problem. This is kind of nice. We don't have to do any borrowing here. 8 minus 1 is 7. 9 minus 9 is 0. 3 minus 2 is 1. But again, what answer are we going to give? We're going to give 107 million dollars, making sure that we label our answer correctly. Finally, number three says how much more revenue was generated from private cash contribution than from government grants. This is tricky because just thinking of the word more, that tends to make me think of addition adding things. But in this case, how much more revenue is generated? Another way I can maybe restate that is, um, what's the difference of the revenue generated from private cash contribution and that generated from government grants? So this actually is another subtraction problem to figure out what the difference is or how much more private cash contribution there is than government grants. So here we have this 398 again minus this time 267 and so we'll be subtracting these vertically 8 minus 7 is 1, 9 minus 6 is 3, 3 minus 2 is 1 so our answer here is it's 131 more million dollars or maybe I didn't say that very well but 131 million dollars Sorry, I kind of ran out of space there. Um, $131 million more in private cash contribution than from government grants. Sorry, I'm just trying to make my label work here. There we go.